was that shield made out of wood. So I took out Amber again, shot it, and then, yeah, it was wood. So, I can't, so that was my strategy. Take out the shield using Amber. And, uh... And then, fought, and then use Kaya to all. basically whack them all. Let's talk to these folks. Fresh fruit only at Quinn's fruit. Quinn! Oh, it's you again. What will you have today? Just a reminder, no discounts. Not even for a friend? Oh, no. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. No discounts on the goods, because they're worth the price. Oh, come on. What if I bring you lunch? No discounts, no matter what you say. Well, that's pretty nice. Oh, better see Barbara at the cathedral if you're injured. Oh, here on the archons, I can't go any lower. Welcome to Flame Whisper. Do you need anything? Uh, sorry for bothering you. Yeah, actually, no, let's, let's, talk, let's talk about flowers. Tell me about your flowers. We carry a large variety of f flowers. Are you looking for anything in particular? Uh, tell me about sweet flowers. Sweet flowers, you say? They look nice, but most people just use them for cooking. You see, you see people having sweet flowers in their gardens. They're probably used to get sugar. Are you here for the flowers? E about storm terror. Every time I think that such a thing happened to us, I grew very afraid. If I were to be captured by storm terror, Master Dillig would definitely cut my rest. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man! This. This must be the part where the dashing prince saves the kidnapped princess. Then maybe our story will be written about in fairy tales. No, wait. Why am I thinking about something like this, like that now? But whatever, whatever it is, it was too terrifying for me. Oh Lord Barbados, please protect Monstat. You mean Monstat? Can't you give me a better prize? Uh, who are you? Huh? I'm just an ordinary girl, helping out here. Gosh, am I blushing? I was daydreaming about Dillard Di Di giving me flowers. Was it obvious? Don't don't look at me like that. There's nothing special about me. A the moon pie? Are you here for moon pies? They are especially of Monch that kind of meat pie that is sweet and fulfilling. I can make a delicious moon pie and give it to the look. Stop, stop it, Donna. If you, have a, if you have a chance, be sure to check them out. Of course they're flowers. Uh -huh. Yeah. Who likes them? Okay. You've had your eye on him, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Paimon sees it too. Paimon? Paimon always feels safe adventuring with him. Paimon, where are you? Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits, but no drawbacks to becoming a member. Uh, all right then. Basically, the Adventurers Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. Okay. Free stuff! I should remind my 
so without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Um, yeah, looks like I, uh, looks like I, looks, I should remind myself to come back here every time my adventurer rank increases. Here is your adventurer handbook. That looks more like a marketing pamphlet. It is, in a way. But it has some practical uses, too. It has a record of available commissions and rewards. And it is also proof of your membership. Ooh. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Okay. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. Oh! Look at Paimon laying down the facts. <laughs> they are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. Sure. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Okay. Add Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss. Welcome to the adventure. Rebooting. Take adventure small. Um. Okay. Oh. Oh, we have already done this. Most of this stuff. Hunt down a cryo abyss mage. Oh. We need one more. We just need to find one. I guess one more, like eight more chests, an an upgrade of statues of the seven, and then equip four artifacts on a single character. Sounds simple enough. Probably move forward stuff. Who are you? Oh, gotta wait. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Haven't you heard? There's a strange wanderer in your room. Welcome. Every treasure here is unique, so we don't negotiate on the price, nor do we give refunds. I'd like to ask you about something. Oh, I see you're very interested. Uh... Tell me about your wares. Which one caught your eyes? Every item here is unique. Every purchase here is a bargain. They were all purchased for the adventurers. Each of them rep represents the passion and courage of these adventurers. So don't bother asking for a discount. You can never discount passion and courage. Well, it was nice talking to you. Bye. All right. All right. Oh, Paimon can smell fisherman's toast. Like you know what that? You know what that dish is? of soft white toast topped with a generous serving of onion slices lightly caramelized by the toasting. Yum, yum! Paimon's made up her mind. It's an emergency. We must order ourselves a generous serving of fisherman's toast from Good Hunter Pronto. Do we have the Do we have the mora for that? It's on you, of course. God for sake. Do you have pockets, man? <laughs> I guess we are going to purchase that. Okay, good hunter. How may I help you? How can I help you? Uh, can I get food to go? Certainly. Here's the menu. Uh, here. Fisherman's toast. And we have enough more for that. Eh. 
Why not? <laughs> that probably won't come back to bite. It's so delicious! I'm glad you liked it. Good Hunter's Fisherman's Toast is the best! Wait, how do you know about that? This might surprise you, but it's actually a classic Mondstadt recipe that anyone can cook. You can try cooking it yourself if you have the ingredients. Can your cooking skills surpass that of Good Hunter's? Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster. Oh, sure thing. Don't you let me down! Leyline Blossom unlocked. Brilliant flowers, but... Hey! It's been getting quite busy recently. You think? Ley line openings that are generated in response to someone's will. Touch the opening and defeat all opponents to receive a ley line blossom. You can spend original resin to receive extravagant treasures. Oh, by the way, this was, this was, no, no, this one. Oh, it's a mid churl not hill churl Um, this is the guy I fought. Hey, rune guards. Add Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Claim Adventurer Re Adventure Rank Rewards. Yes. Okay, we gotta... Okay, next we gotta finish... We gotta visit that. And... That. Are you also interested in alchemy? Who are you? I'm Timaeus, an alchemy scholar. You may not have heard my name before, but I bet you'll have heard the name Albedo and Sucrose before. Albedo is nothing short of a genius in the field of alchemy, and his assistant Sucrose is extremely talented for her age. I'm a total amateur compared to them. Uh, about Albedo. Albedo is an alchemy prodigy, but of people call him the cat. The Creator Prince. The Creator Prince. Prince. He's a top alchemical talented monster. They say he's an outlander who just showed up in Mondstadt one day and was instantly taken on as cheap alchemist by the Knights of Favonius. He's also captain of the investigation team. His alchemical theory is refresh refreshingly unbridled in comparison to conventional theories. In practice, it all works out too. His eyes, my work must seem like child's play. I don't know why I gave him that voice. Let's ask about Sucrose next. Sucrose is Albedo's only assistant. She's so lucky to have gained Albedo's appreciation. As a born and bred child of Mondstadt, we should all be proud of Sucrose's contributions to alchemy. But her research and interests are a little antiquated to the point that they rarely render any practical application. If I, access to, if I had access to such a plethora of resources, who knows what I could accomplish. I'm not gonna craft anything right now, cause... Mm, yeah. Okay, there's a wine thing down there. Is this a bar? A tavern room. Why won't anything sell? What do you sell here? 
Take a look and you'll see. Top quality goods. Low, low prices, all direct from Lee. <laughs> Leeway, leave. Sorry. Not me. Oh, this place. Come in, come in. We are here. We are having a discounted angel share. It was way back when the Dawn Winery was just established when the owner of the winery opened his tavern. The winery's owner, Master Deluc, still holds the deeds of the angel share. He's in a good mood. They let Charles off for a day or two. We see him here. Be respectful. Monstat's tycoon, you know. Um, tell me about the wine industry, Monstat. Monstat's climate, water, and crops are all perfect for making wine. I have to agree. We are all blessed by the Animo Archon. Apple cider and cherry ciders are all taste mighty nice. I forgot to mention dandelion wine. That's one of a kind. By exporting to Liyue's trade unions, Mondstadt's wines will be sold all over the continent. They make incredible sales over there. Some even call it bottled mora. It must be why Don Winery's owner is so filthy rich. Oh, I can go inside? Into the tavern. Let's get fucking wasted. <laughs> No, I'm not planning to get wasted. I'm just investigating stuff. Okay, so that's Suddenly stopped. Is that a thing? Ah, no. It's good. It's good that they stopped, yes. Hmm, but it's all too summer. Oh, there's so many contingency plans. Oh, we're not going to get the chance at any of them. Contingency included ways to scatter the people in the wild to avoid the storms. Teach them how to survive. We're going to teach them to set up basic camps, do pest control, avoid beasts and monsters. Ah, never mind. Rather than take our chances out there, we have to remain safe within these walls. Ah uh, yes, some of our investigating adventurers have informed me that there are monsters congregating in the Whispering Woods. Almost everyone is out in in investigating. We must remain here to command them. Traveler, can I count on you to clear those monsters out? Uh, consider it done. I'll leave it to you then. Don't worry, you'll be compensated fairly. I'm not playing on top of the give up. Yeah, um, I'll get to Kea eventually. <laughs> but for now, I'm exploring Mondstadt. Taking a side quest so that I can increase my, my revenue, my adventure game. That's good. Sinks Company, in charge of logistics. You can just call me Herfa. My work mostly includes the charter and administration of our baggage train, resource management, and record keeping. But Mondstadt's state is as, 
is as you have seen. The Grandmaster, having brought much of our manpower with him, he has since been in constant state of short-handedness. At the same time, our inventory is running a surplus to match, so I'm more than willing to exchange some of it for a little hand here and there. I'm talking. I'm taking all comers who have experience in solving problems. With any luck, we'll take some of the burden off our acting Grandmaster's shoulders. First, you need to earn everyone's trust, so how about starting from a few small errands for the citizenry? Okay. So, quest giver, I believe. I will check every f nook and cranny. Check on the map again. Okay. I guess we are getting the can. Da -de -da -de -da. Casually wreck Casually going around recklessly endangering myself. Okay, pretty boy. What is it? What is it you need? If I may ask, envoy sent by the Animo God to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Ew, cut it out. Tell me what happened. I cannot let my peers hear about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please, let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard, just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? Talk to Kay at the meeting spot. Oh, I'm getting ready for this. I can tell you that. Let's do this. Let's do this in fashion. <laughs> and when I say fashion, I mean climb up the headquarters and then jump off the court, jump off it, and reach the courtyard, courtyard, through the, through gliding. <laughs> if I can find, if I, as long as it's, as long as I can get it, get to it, through gliding, from the top of the headquarters. Uh. <laughs> Oh yeah, he's down. Yeah, he's down there. So now, how did you get here?
Can't climb up that. I like it when I do that. I, lo I love it when I do. This place will do. Yeah, sure, whatever, pretty boy. What is it? Tell us what it's about already. How should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. Don't worry. Paimon's lips are sealed. Yeah, well, the amount of talking that you admit. Well, the amount of talking that you do. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. The music stopped. Oh! Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Do you think I'm making it up? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related by blood. You know, honestly, I've been wondering about the eye patch, but. I guess you look like a pirate! Uh, I guess that's why you're much of some you're much of a trade boy, I believe. But anyway, that's surprising. Yesterday I was glancing through the notes my grandfather left and stumbled upon records that spoke of a treasure. Treasure? Treasure? <laughs> According to his notes, the treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. Treasure. Treasure. <laughs> but the location of the ruins is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. Treasure! Kaya, what kind of treasure is it? Gold? Or better yet, gems? Oh boy. Paimon's getting obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. My grandfather's treasure is a sword. Oh. A magic sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. Oh, I guess... I guess, judging from this, that... These these character side quests that maybe this that when you finish all of them you get a weapon that's compatible to them, so makes that helps make them a bit more powerful and hit make them hit harder. Oh wow! The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared, billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. Eh, uh, don't you think it was bluffing it? But the immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather hid the magic sword. Eight-headed hydras, silver-haired banshees, do they really exist? The world we live in is fascinating. Full of unknown and inexplicable wonders. Press X to doubt. Press X to doubt. Holy moly! That's just insane! I can agree with you, and I think you're right. A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon discover the Arcadian ruins, and the magic sword will be lost. We won't let it fall into the wrong hands. We must get the sword before them. You just rest assured that we are here to help. Wow. Great. Please keep it a secret. I'll wait for your good news. Hey, so what you think? Isn't it exciting? We're talking about a super duper powerful sword. Yeah, well, yeah, but is it is it true? Well, let's go to the Adventurers Guild and see if we can find out more.
Oh. Okay. The adventurers should know more about the ruins, right? Oh, we're following this quest anyway. Yeah, I got it. Kiddo, welcome to the Adventurers Guild. We're looking for... Hmm. We're not here for something that boring. We're looking for a sword that fell from Celestia. One that can kill eight-headed banshees and silver-haired hydras. It's super mega uber powerful. You said too much. It's fine, as long as Paimon doesn't tell them the treasure's location. So, Cyrus, do you know where the lost Arcadian ruins are supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> now she's done it. Arcadian ruins. Never heard of them. Thanks for your intel anyway. If you do find these ruins, I'd love to see them. Uh, my intel? Oh, now you've up and done it, man. Still no clues. <laughs> Yeah, we must. At Astra Abasoske. I, I always still like this method of transportation. Me just constantly jumping up and down platforms. Yeah, I have news for you. Paimon's Paimon's lips were sealed as <laughs> as tr as as sticking two pi pieces of paper with your with nothing but your saliva. Listen, we asked around the Avengers Guild and found well nothing. <laughs> that much is expected. Why is that? Oh, I only mean that. What's the fun in finding it without the hard work? However, I do have some clues. I sent someone to collate black market intel. It seems that someone does know about the Arcadian ruins. Hmm, I wonder why. Really? Where's the guy? Now, now, as per the black market's rules, they will send someone to meet us to prevent leaks. We will be meeting the informant at the Whispering Woods. Hey, that's where we're going for the other quest. It's not ideal for Kea to show his face. That's right. You read my mind. I am a knight, so I shouldn't have any dealings with the black market. You have, of course, you'll be compensated for your ah, troubles. Double dapped again. By the knights. Oh, no problem. Okay, so I guess we're going to the. Uh, Whispering Woods. That will be next episode. But first, I gotta check out where it is. Where is it? Oh, it's just across the river. Okay, got it. I'll just cross it, and then we'll probably end the episode somewhere. Hold on. Another free chest. I've been getting a lot of Oh, Alright, so that should that's probably gonna be it for today. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like the content that I make, please like and subscribe if you want to see more.
And also, if there are any other YouTubers out there that you would like to support, then go ahead and do so. So, as I stand here on this tower waiting for... Anticipating the jump to the next I'll see you guys next time on the, on the other episode of Genshin Impact.